doing today. A bunch of people asked for a little bit more of uh, Not a Dogwood Legacy, and I am as ever weak to peer pressure, and so here we are yet again with uh, the legacy of Hogwarts racism. That's <laughs> just before I went live. I, <laughs> I actually got to enjoy a rather fantastical conversation. <laughs> uh, two students were sitting behind me here as I was just loading up the game to get ready for the next quest. And they were sitting there like, oh, God, those filthy muggles. Oh, I, I hope Professor Black passed them from getting into school. Did you know this one teacher is a descendant of a muggle? Like, ugh. <laughs> That was rather amusing. <laughs> they kept talking for like 10 minutes. I'm I'm impressed by the amount of pointless side banter the game has. It's kind of poorly voice acted, but still, you know, there was a lot of it. And it was at least relatively funny. So there's that. Oh, yeah. All right, let's get to drug class, shall we? F for wait. Shall I sit down on the... Yep, I shall sit down on the floor again. I wonder why I do that. Like, what? The floor doesn't look that comfortable. Surely everyone else must just come in here and just stare at me. Like, why the fuck is he sitting on the floor? It's like, I don't know. I don't know myself. Nobody's told me why. I just do it. Potions is one of the most challenging and hazardous subjects taught at this school. As fifth years, you will be required to reach new heights of both discipline and intellect. Hmm. Good, I've had four years to prepare you myself. You will begin for this, this term course, by brewing though. a Wigan Weld potion. Ooh, it's a health potion. Mr. Takar, can you tell us why this particular potion might come in handy? Yes, so Professor Sharp. The Wigan Weld adventures. potion can be used to sterilize and even heal a variety of injuries. It can heal some injuries, but not all. Points for Ravenclaw. Before today's class is completed, each of you will have brewed a Wigan Weld potion of your own. Incidentally, who keeps you track know of the whole point system? You never know when you might they keep saying, like, ah, oh, points for that. Please like, begin. Is there somebody counting? Are they responsible for, you know, ringing their own points up? Are the teachers keeping score? Do they have a little score sheet? Use a strong, even motion when crushing your ingredients. Whoa. There. Please See? be meticulous when adding powder to your potions. One errant sneeze could be disastrous. Uh, this feels somewhat, I don't know, dangerous. I miss the mini games from the previous uh, little Harry Potter games. My like, granted, I barely remember how they played, but it feels like in this one, you basically, you wiggle your mouse occasionally, you press spacebar here and there, and you occasionally click a mouse button, and that's pretty much the class, you know? It would be nice if there was a little bit of, uh, you know, score thing, like you got a t timing puzzle or something, and you got like, click the button oh, at a certain time. You have not and if you do it stir. really well, then the teacher comes over and, you know, like, rubs your head and goes like, that's very good there. Mm. Very good. Not retarded not an easy at all. potion to brew. Well done. And from what I hear of your recent exploits in Hogsmeade, you'd also do well to practice brewing the defensive Edurus potion. Professor Weasley had you acquire the recipe from Jay Pippins, correct? Yes, sir. In my case, he would Good. fuzzle my For the moment, you can find the ingredient you need in my office. But in the future, you'll be expected to provide your own ingredients. Some can be harvested from the plants you grow in your herbology class, and rarer ones can be purchased. Well, I know. Others, however, of may be harder to obtain. And will require you to be a bit more resourceful. resourceful. Come and see me when you've finished brewing. And we'll see if it was skill or luck the first time around. Because, you know, sending students out on ridiculously hazardous quests to find fucking weed is entirely fair and fine, isn't it? My problem parents problem. considered keeping me home from school this year after the rumor. I hear Professor Sharp say that you have permission to go into his office. Who are you? And why are you blonde? Pretty sure I'm the only one who's allowed to be blonde. TBA113 says, I love how many levels this game acts as a middle finger on. It's a long single player campaign. I went full steam ahead in the face of the NPCs. I have I heard this is that. a really long game. He wants me to game. get more ingredients to brew another potion. Brilliant! Voice. You, my friend, have been presented oh, with an extraordinary opportunity. More like I'm Gareth, by the way. Gareth Weasley. Bit of a prodigy with He's potions, if I do say so myself. Pleasure to meet you. Some form of undead. Wait. Are you related to Professor Weasley? 
She's my aunt. Keeps too close an eye on me for comfort. Ugh. But she can't be everywhere. Listen, anyone with a troll-sized brain can brew an Adjurus potion. I'm working on something that's certain to be spectacular. I'm just missing one tiny last ingredient that will add that extra spark. I suspect that's where I come in. You're as clever as I'd hoped. I simply need a single Fooper Feather, as you'll already be in Sharp's office with his permission. Perhaps you could grab it for me. Ah, stealing from the teachers. A brilliant idea. I'm not sure that's a very wise I don't know, Gareth. I don't want to get on Sharp's bad side. You won't. Fooper Feathers aren't that valuable. Sharp won't even miss it. Aha. Uh -huh. Um. See, <laughs> I feel... Now, he's Gryffindor, plus he's like a descendant or ancestor or something or Ron, and I hate Ron, so no, fuck off. I have enough to worry about collecting the ingredients he wants me to get. I'm afraid I can't help you. I understand. I'll sort something else out. Oh, he took that well. I do hate Ron. He's a bad person. Oh. Um. Um. It's just. Sure. Let me just grab that dead dog off his desk. Uh, those enormous fucking peaches, and, uh, do you have some money stashed away? No, but you've got some clothes I can steal. Thank you very much. <laughs> oh. Oh, yeah, no. <laughs> You'd never notice that be missing. It's only a fucking enormous purple feather. <laughs> oh, I'll take it anyways. <laughs> like, very, very supple. Very supple. <laughs> Your potion stations organized oh, and free of baby clutter. Jesus. Should you chop the didney or crush it? Uh, a Jura's potion, a potion that enhances the drinker's defense by covering them with a durable rocky skin. Ah, right, I shall just shove this entire fucking dog carcass into the bowl there. There you go. Um, heat slowly, I guess, until the boiling point. If the wolf head starts blinking its eyes at you, uh, you should kill it first. Yeah, it's on fire. Is it supposed to be on fire? Should I click something? Does it just like... Does it just do this by itself? I feel like at least you chopped up the fucking pelt or something, maybe. No? No. Okay. Well, thank you very much, sir. Aha. Uh -huh. <laughs> Teleporting cauldrons. And now we add the mallow sweet and... Why on That's God's odd. good earth would you What's not happening? have teleporting potions? Wait, uh, it's not supposed to. Ah! Fine right. job brewing your first week. Get it! Not again! Oh! Smell! Dragon Dark! What happened? <laughs> well done, Gareth. I think he fucked up. I think he's gonna get yelled at what now. What now, Mr. Weasley? Sorry, Professor. That'll be points from Gryffindor. Again. I do like the fact that he doesn't really care. Something just exploded in his little laboratory here after he went like, this is really dangerous, and he barely looks up. Uh -huh. So that you know, student's burn his face off again. Uh -huh. oh, minor inconvenience. Ornu donates a very a generous $50. Thank you a lot, sir. Saying, still looking fabulous. Fabius would be jealous. I know. It's, <laughs> it's remarkable. Actually, I did pocket pitch... Uh, pit, pa no, pinch. Pinch is the correct term here. I did pinch something from the professor's office. Diamond Debenoir Ensemble. I mean, that actually looks better, so I don't know about that. It does have increased stats, though, and I suppose I am a stats whore, so... <laughs> oh. Oh, perfect. <laughs> oh, yeah, that'll do. No! I want it. No. No, 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 no. There we are. Ideal. Right, Professor, I finished the uh, assignment. Uh, never mind the fact that I've taken off my clothing. Lost, it's Glad you managed to stay on task. Not gets every class outside. is so eventful. I saw Mr. Weasley speaking with you earlier. He can be quite persuasive. Glad you managed to resist. Oh, You've done well today. I confess I was... Skeptical, given the advanced nature of this class and the fact you're a new student. I'm glad I was able to meet your expectations. A rare occurrence. 
And you do well to remember that you're not a potions master quite yet. Not quite yet. In addition to having Soon. a solid grasp of how to combine various ingredients, you should gain an understanding of the ingredients themselves. Pay particular attention in herbology. The plants you nurture ah. there are often essential herbology, to the potions eh? you brew here. Now, I recommend that you find a safe location in which to practice brewing. You cannot leave a hot cauldron simply anywhere. Chance, do and you can keep that swapper feather. Trees too. This time. That'll be all. Oh, you noticed that, did you? Well. I think each of us has had enough excitement for one day. Class is dismissed. Too bad. This is my whoop of weather now. You Actually, can't imagine how I have a brilliant idea. Out. Since I'm running around with a nightcap on my head anyways. Let's see. Is there any more clothing I can take off, perchance? Ah, ideal. Right, there we go. There we are. If this isn't the appearance of a hero, I don't know what could possibly constitute one. What's the next mission, then? Do I need to go outside? I'm well equipped for the cold. Uh, Hogsmeade? I'm confused. Quests. The girl from Uganda. Alright, we will go to the girl from Uganda wearing our underwear. I'm sure she'll get the hint at some point. If not, well, we're just going to have to do it the Ugandan way, I suppose. Nikmata says, I play the game and keep waiting to receive a lesson from the most esteemed Professor Tutu Mabuntu. That's true. There's an actual, like, witch doctor somewhere, which I have yet to see, which makes me a little bit see her sad. Uh, okay, I'm supposed to just go... Over there. Right. Very well. Off we go. Is there an auto run button in this game? Nope, but there is an auto sprint. Right, well, that's something, isn't it? I'm coming for you, Uganda. <laughs> I cannot get over this retarded appearance. Ooh, I've even got a, one of those fancy little, like, butt entrances thingies. Like, if you unbutton those buttons there at my butt, you'll have free access. That's... I'm too tired disturbing. to put on your robes. I presume it was made so that you could, you know, have a quick dump without needing to take off the entire ensemble, which I imagine would be annoying. And you could just pull it down around your waist as well, but then your upper parts would get all chilly, and you wouldn't want that. You know, that would be terrible. McWild11 says, Arch, are you there? Are you saying something? We hear mostly the game yelling at us and your voice going further and further away. No, don't leave us. Is that real? Or are you lying to me? Oh, God, now I'm going to have to check the audio, aren't I? Christ. Let's see. Oh, God, now I'm going to have to check the audio, aren't I? This sounds fine, you lying wretch. God damn it, it's the wrong way. Oh, I needed to go up there specifically. I do not know what these rocks are, but I'm sure they're valuable somehow. Oh, I need to pick those manually. Fuck. I'm gonna take my shoes off. I feel like Uganda would be more comfortable with me if I was to just, you know, go there barefooted in my underwear. Like, I am embracing the uh, traditions of your people. You know we are not all naked, right? Uh, I know now, I suppose. Saipan Patriot says, Do female Tao have breasts? If not, should they? I don't think GW has gone into detail on that just yet, but I would assume yes. I, I have seen hentai of the Tao, so I'm guessing yes. Da -da 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 -da. Why did Uganda want to meet me out here in the middle of fucking nowhere, incidentally? These and many more questions will eventually be answered by my half-naked ass. Is this a suicide opportunity? No, I thought that was a ledge. Ooh, water. This looks intriguing. It does, it looks downright intriguing. Now, go Harry Plopper. Into Zavasa. Oh. oh. Hi. 
Are you friendly? I mean, you're not trying to eat me yet, so that's good. Cotton grass dug bog. Whatever the fuck that is. Now, I wanted to see if I could find the ginormous octopus thing that lived in the lake. The extraordinarily shallow lake, incidentally. I dive. I can't. Game is being awfully combative. Like, you should fight the frog. Why? The frog has done nothing to me. Da, 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 da. If I know this game, it's gonna. I, I'm gonna get to a certain depth, and then it's just gonna be like, turn around, or we'll fucking shoot you again. Swimming in my underwear, underwear, underwear. There doesn't seem to be a dive mechanic. Or if there is, I don't know what the button is for it. Oh, that's not it. Ah, yes. Pull out the, the diary. I'm sure it's water resistant. No, tragically, I do not think there is an underwater exploration mechanic in this video game. I'm sure they'll DLC it in at some point. Loot Goblin says, Arch, it's when you were talking to the teacher, not the rest of the game. Huh, the teacher. If there's some kind of noise gatey th Oh, I got wet. There might be some kind of noise cancellation going on. I mean, there shouldn't be. Hold on a second. Should make it better. In fact, that might make me too loud. No, it looks relatively realistic as audio, far as audio go. Thank you for pointing that out, chat. Ah, yes, it's a tent, but without an entrance. Natürlich. All right, where the hell is Uganda again? Over there. It would be really funny if she just looks at me and goes like, My God, what are you wearing? It is good to see Hello, Natty. Hello. <laughs> that is a brilliant oh, pose, too. Like, hello. Hi there. <laughs> I am well. Like what but you're I saying? I am worried about you, my friend. With Ranrock and Rookwood and Harlow after you? I'm all right at the moment. We did not speak about it at the time. But I am hoping now you might tell me why they were looking for you. Right. I'm lying to my teachers about this, and you think I'm just going to be like, Oh, yes, Uganda. It's because I'm fighting the goblin insurrection in my spare time. Harlow. Perhaps they mistook me for another student. Hmm. A bit odd. The two of them pursuing a Hogwarts student so intently. But whatever the reason, you were clearly in danger. For now. It is safe to say that Rookwood and Harlow are a threat to both of us, the two of them to all of us, students, so which is why I wanted to speak to you. The reason, I realized something that day in Hogsmeade. Hmm. You displayed such courage fighting that troll, Let's and see. Serona wasn't intimidated one bit by Rookwood and Harlow. Both of you have inspired me to take a stand of my own. What sort of stand? Men like Rookwood and Harlow are the reason my mother and I left Matibili land. I am not going to sit by and watch them destroy my new home. Right, I have turned myself down just a little pinch. That should maybe be a little bit better. I swear to God, these settings change every single bloody time. Yes, yeah, small echo, because I was listening to the stream for a second there. This could be dangerous, but uh, I don't care. Come with me. Good. Rookwood and Harlow are a dangerous pair. And the fact that they're working with Ranrock, well... All the more reason they must be stopped. Rumor has it that Theophilus Harlow runs Rookwood's day-to-day -day operations. Taking him down would cripple Rookwood's entire How enterprise. How do you know this exactly? That may be true, but shouldn't Officer Singer handle someone like Harlow? I spoke with her. She was polite, but perhaps understandably would not discuss details with a student. Ah. I overheard some of Rookwood's lot talking so about the police the are on the case, but, uh, you know, they're just the police, and they're British. Could Fuck us out in competence. Yeah, best leave it to the children. All right, but how? I am going to watch and listen and find out precisely what Halo is up to. I shall reach out when I know more. In the meantime, remember, I am here if you need me. Thank you, Natty. 
Be on your guard. Off on another adventure, are we? Again, to be fair. What's going on here? I don't know, but I'm not really interested. Ah, God damn it! Hey, why are you here? On second thought, I don't care. Oh, well, the video game is informing me that I must help the stranger, so... Off I go. Hello, woman. Do you need the aid of a young boy in his underwear? I've no idea who it is you think I might have seen. I've been busy with my research. I do not have time to... Victor Rookwood don't give a doxy's nip back your time. Oi! Oh, Speak of the devil. This is some cute little masks you got there. Rookwood would like a word with you. A student? You can't be... How the <sighs> fuck do you know I'm a student? Enough out of you. Leave her alone. Oh, you'll face the fury of my 14 and a half inches of hard dogwood. Oh, never mind. They weren't really particularly intimidated, as it turns out. Set on fire! Oh, shit. I've forgotten how to play the video game. Wait. Are you shooting me in the back, old lady? You fucking are. Right, come in. And go away. Right, he's dead. Oh, watch the light go out of your eyes. That's not very nice. Uh, the collection section of your field guide is updated with the new enemy types. You may learn valuable insight on enemies such as their weaknesses to certain spells. Ow! Why did you do that? I thought I'd blocked it. Oh! Okay, so I'm presuming... Yes, yes. That was how that worked. Okay, that's How a. Oh, I hate heights. See, I was about to say that's going to be up. You are shooting me, you old bat! Ow! So how do you counter that? Hmm. Okay, so let me actually check out the map because clearly she's shooting me with something I can't counter via the usual ways. Look for the full fames. Yes, I'm aware of video game. I would like to open my book just to... Oh, watch the light go Yep, no, nope, that's eyes. that's cute and all. But uh, could you just hold on a second? I need to open my book here and uh, <laughs> figure out what exactly you're doing to me and why. Uh, collection? Enemies? Enemies? Enemies! Right. Uh, Ashwind the Duelist. Among the quicker of Rookwood's agents, these witches will surprise their opponents with back-to-back -back attacks. A powerful Reductor Curse cannot be blocked by shield charms, but interrupting that cast with a Severing Charm will spin to the point of losing control and hitting one of their own gang. A Severing Charm. Do I have a Severing Charm? Let's find out. Uh, yep. 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 Damage. Force. Control. Alright, I'm not entirely sure what the severing charm might be. Glacius. Arresto momentum. Yep, I haven't got the faintest clue. Uh, maybe just a regular one? Try lifting them. Mm. Ow. Okay. Ow. All right. Just try and dodge that then. Jesus Christ! I'm almost dead already. Sweet baby boy. Ooh. All right. Okay. Okay. Let's try and finish off the lesser ones. Ow! Jesus Christ! I didn't even see her attack. She can shoot through the fucking uh, house, can't she? Okay, come over here. Finish off. Die, die, die. Alright. Where'd you go? Okay. See, the red shield. I'm assuming the red shield means I need to hit her with a red spell. 
At least that's the theory. Okay. No. So okay. So she's she is immune to that. Right. Oh. All right. Now let's try. Too far away. Jesus <laughs> Christ. I'm starting to regret the hard difficulty. Okay, once more time. Uh, try limiting the eggs first. Yes, that's what I tried now. Color-coded shields, yep. Okay, so I do need fire to get through our shields, which means I need to get to point-blank range oh, to her. Light go out of your eyes? Which is mildly difficult, seeing as she too has a flamethrower. Oh, I'm gonna be oh. we can hold them up. Okay, don't I'm shatter the way of that. Release me. I don't think so, mister. Okay. Kill, 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 kill. Careful, 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 careful. Come on, die. You're no match for me. How the hell are you not dead yet? Die! There you go. Alright, alright, alright. Close. Do that. Just unlock the bitch as hard as possible, and down she goes. Alright. What on earth just happened? I've never been accosted in such a manner. Been so close to Hogwarts. Accosted. Oh, lady, I feel like what they did to you was slightly worse than being accosted, frankly. I'm pretty sure they would have just killed your ass if I hadn't come around. I'm all dirty now because of you, old woman. Disgusting. You're right. I am, thanks in no small part to your excellent defense. Uh, no skills. small part, entirely reliant upon my ability to intervene, actually. Ashwinders were ready to dispatch me to get to you. Ashwinders? Victor Rookwood's thieves and extortionists, his little cronies. They seemed... You know, it's a long story. You could have just hit them with that help. axe you've got in mm. your belt. They were probably well, more effective. I've avoided them for the moment. Priya warned me things were getting dangerous. Best get moving on my research before they return. You're a researcher? Nora Treadwell at your service. Historian and archaeologist specializing in Merlin's work and life. Her eyes are pointing two slightly different ways. Merlin? Of the legend of King Arthur? The Bit very same. Him. Merlin attended Hogwarts, you know, and I'm studying some curious fixtures he left here centuries ago. Fixtures? These vine-covered pillars, dozens of them all around the area. I've taken to calling them the Trials of Merlin. Ah, minigames. He created them as a diversion for his fellow Slytherins. <laughs> he was terribly fond of puzzles and Well, I fucking hate puzzles and enigmas, so how about I just leave right now, old woman? Shut your mouth. Thank you very I much. I brought a trunk chock full of Mallow Sweet with me. It's just over there by my tent. Oh, adorable. Let me give him just this trunk. This trunk. Yes, give, take give, plenty. Give, give, even give, if you give, already give, have some. Give, 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 give. Thank you. I have the mallow sweet. Lovely. Now, notice the vines on these pillars. Here, Do I have to? As well as the stone swell on the ground. Yep. That's adorable. Mm -hmm. oh, Bought the fuck up. <sighs> you will do my puzzles whether you like to or not. Uh, you were saying? My word! Did you see that? The vines disappeared! Oh, oh how mysterious. Hmm, this is uncharted territory. I am curious about incendio. Merlin's beard! The flames. You're a very stupid sink. old woman. Okay, to be fair, this is the kind of puzzle I can get behind. The easy kind. Oh. Goodbye. Curious. The pyres are back where they started. Oh, apparently not. Okay, so there's... Ah. There's clearly a time limit in place here. Incendio. Merlin himself would be proud. Oh yeah, no, I managed to set three things on fire within a minute. 
It's a remarkable deed. One very few could do, unless they had access to fucking matches. Ah. Day, I can hardly believe it. So Merlin created trials so as to show off a little statue of himself made of vines. Very little self-absorbed prick, I wasn't think he? it we can call that a success. We can indeed. However, I now have even more questions. How does it work? I must review my notes. I may have missed something. Are all of the trials like this one? Hmm? Oh, not precisely. Well, I think each has those telltale vines and the swirl on the ground. You should feel free to solve them as you come across them. I will. Sure. Go away. And do be careful out here. Ah, puzzles. That's what I needed. I shall return to the safety of my notes and checks. Uh, Nick Maddis says you can make any piece of equipment look like any other acquired or invisible. No need to be bare ass when you can be equipped, but looking bare ass. <laughs> I mean. Hmm. That's Ooh, true. Alright, so there, I do know that there's some form of uh, transmogging in the game, so I guess we'll I guess we'll try and look at that. It might explain why I went down so quickly, you know, the fact that I was actually naked and stuff. Um Let me guess, it's a mechanic you unlock eventually, isn't it? Right, fine, I'll put on some clothing then. There you go. I did sell my gloves, which I'm mildly annoyed by. There, I'm no longer nude. It is a significant oh, advancement from being nude. It's not everyone who's ever discovered the technology of clothing themselves. I, I should have used the angry little cabbages, actually. They probably would have made short work of the, uh, the, 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 the henchmen fellas. Is that a sheep? Can it die? It cannot die. Is that a cow? That's not a cow, and he can't die. JC Denton says, I'll gladly pay you a 20 for the level of entertainment you give me on these playthroughs. I won't even ask you to dance for it like a dirty stripper. Oh. Well, to be fair, you know, if you're giving strippers 20s, you're overpaying, you know? Fives will do, frankly. Uh... Let me huh? Uh... Huh? See, I feel like I'm supposed to do something with this thing, because it's very conspicuous where it sits. Does not show what? Oh, what? You can turn around now. Huh. <laughs> I... I didn't see that one coming. Huh. Apparently, I can move them whilst they're levitating. Well, that's a neat trick. Too finicky for me to engage with right now, but still. Transmog already possible. Alt alt alternate key on the gear screen. Alternate key, okay. Ah, that one. That's awful. That's awful. Uh... Oh, 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 that's terrible. Not as bad as my nightcap, mind you, but still terrible. There you go. Perfect. Well, we'll keep the, uh, we'll keep the tie on, you know. Um, scarf, you gotta keep warm somehow, after all. Wouldn't want to freeze our asses off now, would we? Scrope knows about that book you found. Is it missing something? Scrope does not believe it is safe to speak out in the open. Scrope has left another note across the bridge among the circle of rocks. Take care. Tell no one about this. Scrope? Who is Scrope? Ah, uh, A skaven, if I'm lucky? Hood up with a mask on. Can you put a mask on? That'd be funny. Oh, if only it was a white robe. That's a good point. A nice white robe with a tall, peaked cap. Hmm. That might make my relationship with Uganda a bit strained, though, admittedly. Um, I didn't pay attention. What did he tell me to do? Uh, something with the standing what stones. Now? Oh, right. The rocks speak to me. I'm confused by that still. 
Search for the next note. Let's hold that button down a little bit. Scorpus left another note for me among the circle of rocks just beyond the bridge to the south exit. So, among the circle of rocks. I mean, I call these like more like stalactites. You know? Incendium. Was it stalactites or stalagmites? That you know, was standing. Maybe it's underneath one of the these things. Uh, well, not there. Ah, right. It's right. Just it's just resting on one of the stones. Okay, fair enough. Almost there. Head for the pumpkin. Search down from the stone circle. Look inside one of them. You may be able to hold poor broken-hearted scope. Pumpkins. Ah, I think I know just the place. Pumpkins. Death. Hey, you can kill yourself in Hogwarts Legacy. Ah. That makes it a true transgender game, but umtish. <laughs> All right, let's not do that again, I suppose. All right, now that we have confirmed the presence of fall damage, let's take a slightly more uh, indirect route. <laughs> Gravity does work indeed, chat. Okay, let's see. Uh, inside a pumpkin. Why did you put it inside of a pumpkin? Seems silly of you. Seems laborious, frankly. Pumpkin, pumpkin, pumpkin. Pumpkin, pumpkin, pumpkin. Those are pumpkins, these are not. Okay. Right. Do I need to bust open the pumpkins? Did you actually put it inside the pumpkin and then seal the pumpkin with magic or something? You did, didn't you? Yeah, you did. Well, poor whoever owns the pumpkins, I guess. The young Slytherin must be exceptionally curious by now. Meet Scrope at the water's edge by the broken docks. Down to the water's edge? Hmm, this had better not be a trick. Yeah, it'd be unfortunate if somebody tried to drown me in the middle of the night. I mean, it'd be tragic, frankly. Scrubs are wood elf, isn't he? Or, they're not wood elves. What are they? The little retard elf things. You know, the goblin things that, uh, that Harry Potter had. I don't know what that is. But it does have an insignia of fire on it. Oh, there you go. Uh, put rock there, make fire, go whoop. And whoop. Yay, I am intelligent! This could prove dangerous if I'm not careful. Oh, don't worry about it, you big baby. You're well equipped to handle whatever's down here. Oh yeah, no, this was fucking dangerous as all hell. We can tell. Illustrious cloak! Wow! What exactly is an illustrious cloak? Wow! Uh, it's a better cloak. All right, there we go. Uh, that covers up a little bit too much of my nudity, I'm afraid. We're gonna have to turn that off. There you are. Well, that's suspicious. Come here, little elf thing. Told you. Thank you for coming all this way. The name's Scrope. Scrope serves the headmaster. Been in the Black family for years. Apologies for the abundance of notes. Scrope wanted to be sure you weren't followed. What's this all about? Your notes mention the book I found in the restricted section. Scrope can tell you more in exchange for your help, but no one, especially the headmaster, no. Oh, an illoyal servant. Hmm. Happy to undermine authority if it benefits me. Undermining the headmaster and getting something in return. Continue. Oh, Scrope does not intend to undermine the headmaster. In fact, Scrope wants to surprise him. With disobedience. Scrope's late mistress, Apollonia Black, may she rest in peace, was a student at Hogwarts uh, over 50 years ago. Before she died, she spoke with passion of pages ripped from a book. Scrope suspects she took them to her private grotto. She her was delirious at the grotto. end of thing. Mistook Belladonna for elderberries. <laughs> Scrope tried to warn her. 
I'm sorry to hear that. But how do you benefit if I find the pages? Scrope believes that a treasured Black family ring is also in the grotto. Scrope wishes to give it to the headmaster. Then maybe Apollonia you'll give Scrope his Scrope ear back. From entering the grotto long ago, Scrope continues to honour her wishes. Scrope would not dare ask a student for help, but when Scrope learned you were looking for those pages, Scrope thought you might also find the ring. Hmm. Scrope has found a way to abuse his programming. Scrope is a clever little stretcher soul, isn't he? It seems this may help us both. Scrope is relieved. Scrope hoped the young Slytherin would be willing to help. Scrope is going to find himself fucking strangled if he says Scrope coast. anymore. And place it on the pedestal there. Good luck. Thank you, Scrope. Scrope will wait right here. Oh, my father. Oh, that was ineffective. Toast. Toast, of course. Why wouldn't it be toast? Whoa! Hi there! Jesus! Oh! Alright! That was unexpected! Does magic work on you? No, no it does not. Okay. Does that magic work on you? Nope. No, no it does not. Alrighty then! This, uh... This feels a bit harsh, just for going to find some toast. Is that thing bouncing my magic back at me? Because that would be mildly retarded if it was. Jesus. Ugh. Oh, you piece of shit. Oh, right. I can make it explode with my magic's ancient super... I can make it explode my engine magic superpowers. Ah. Oh, there you go. It turns out that ancient magic superpowers are pretty damn good for pest control as well. Dejnev says, have you played V Rising, the vampire survival game? I have not. Uh, it was a big deal a while ago and everybody was talking about it, so... Ah, oh, cut them. More of them? I feel like this is... Frankly, rather unreasonable. Oh, Jesus. Does, uh, does magic work on you? Ooh. Right, this is a bit more than I feel fucking comfortable with. God, you're spongy, too. I feel a pinch corner. Oh my god, there's four of them! Uh, climb, climb, Harry Plopper. Climb. Climb or die, Harry Plopper. Jesus, I am not doing a lot of damage either. Oh, then again, if the giant toads cannot swim, that is going to make things rather more easy. Well, this feels a pinch unfair, but then again, they are there's four of them against me alone, so you know what? It doesn't feel quite so unfair after all. Dum 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 dum. Pew 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 pew. Ah pew 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 pew. Ah pew 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 pew. No! Well, that was what we call a miscalculation. This is some motherfucking riveting gameplay right here, isn't it? Like, holy shit, I doubt you've seen anything quite this amusing in a while. I mean, look at the particle effect as I continue to fire red snot of these things. Ah, uh, Hadouken! Okay, making them explode in showers of gore and blood and innards is mildly amusing in its own way. I'm having a hard time... You don't have the range to hit them, do you? Right. Don't shoot that one. Shoot that one. It's way more hit points. Oh, for the love of... What was the... Um, that? Oh. I'm trying to uncaps lock that one. There we go. Oh, I can't hit. Ugh. 
Video game. Your video game. I'm singing in the video game. Combo. 15, 16, 17. My god, you're a m m m balls. <laughs> For the love of Allah, destroy them. Yes. Infidels. I bet you these things have never even heard of Allah. Uh, make sure it doesn't get out of the mud. No, 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 no. Die, you filthy. Thank you. Alright. I have defeated the Dubogs. You may... Praise me now, heap valuable essences upon me, rub my noggins, I don't know. Why did I kill them? I don't know. They were in my way, and so they had to die. Thus is the fate of all living beings who get in the way of Harry Plopper. I hope this is worth it. I feel like most students wouldn't... Oh, there you go. You can do the cool-ass jump. You just gotta kind of time it a little bit. Ah. Her private grotto has a picture of an octopus on it. That's where it goes. I highly urge everyone to Google the fisherman's wife right now to get a good understanding of what Mr. Black's wife was probably engaging in inside of her private grotto that was walled off and even her most loyal servants were under strict instructions not to enter. Oh, yep, that's the tentacle, all right. Yep, just shove the tentacle right on in there, good and hard, don't be gentle. It's surprisingly uh, durable, the thing you're, you're rubbing there. Wow, this looks pretty good Could after, be? like, 50 years. A visitor? Oh yeah, that's normal. Ooh. <laughs> ah. The name's Richard Jackdaw. I was a student, just like you, about a century ago. Uh -huh. How in the world did you find this place? A house Coast. elf named Scrope sent me. Said I might find a black family ring here. Ah. Sorry to say I sold the ring a long time ago. Poor Scrope. Still holds a candle for Apollonia, I reckon. Can't say I blame him. I stole all these treasures just to impress her. Alas, it was to no avail. I thought a secret map I pilfered from Peeves would pique her interest. But she simply rolled her eyes. Women. What would I want with yellowed old pages torn from a book? Not my finest moment. Women. Hand them over. I must insist that you give them to me at once. They're not here. I thought if Apollonia wasn't interested in the map on the pages, perhaps it would lead to something that would intrigue her. So... I followed the map to what I can only describe as an enchanted cave of some kind. And you see what happened next. Here's an idea. Why don't you meet me at the edge of the Forbidden Forest and I'll show you where to find the pages? Oh, sure. Why not? I suppose if that's the only way for me to get those pages, I'll meet you at the forest. I'm sure the pages are still tucked in my waistcoat. If you don't mind the sight of a... Well, my decapitated skeleton, they're yours for the taking. I feel like the pages would have, you know, fared rather poorly being exposed to the wind and the elements for God only knows how many decades was on a rotting body, but... Uh, again, I suppose that's just my logic speaking. Oh, good. Puzzle thingies. I do hate hmm, puzzles. A map. It doesn't appear to be connected to the missing pages. Best hang on to it for now. I wonder what the casualty rates at Hogwarts are like. Like, considering the wildlife, like literally five feet away from the castle, I'd imagine around about a hundred percent, honestly. 
Shadowfox2300 says, uh, Why does Kibbs have a better thumbnail for his Harry Potter video than you? He doesn't. You can barely even see what's on it. It's just a mess of hippogriff things and some kind of things on a hippogriff. Whereas in my case, you can clearly see exactly what this video series is all about. Well, I haven't encountered an actual furry ghost yet, but I'm sure it'll be in the video game at some point. Well, Scrope, I'm sorry to say, but your master's ring is long lost. Hello, Scrope. Thanks to you, I was able to enter Apollonia's grotto. The toast was the key. I met a ghost there, Richard Jackdaw, who's agreed to lead me to the pages I've been looking for. Oh, that boy was never good enough for Apollonia. Oh, what of the Black Family ring? I'm sorry to say that Jackdaw sold it long ago. Sad news indeed. Scrope shall need to think of another way to impress the headmaster. Well, Scrope takes some consolation in knowing that the young Slytherin found what they needed. I did. Thank you again, Scrope. You're a credit to house elves. Yes, you are a, a fine servant thing, creature. Scrope's last hope. Last hope. Is he going to be just... You know, peeled alive if he doesn't deliver the ring? Because Last Hope sounds a pinch final, no? Hmm. All right. Need to learn the disarming charm before I can follow that. Okay, well, if you say so. During the day, aha. Right, well. Back I go to the women's dormitory then to have a, have a good nap and a bit of a rest. Where was the dormitory again? Ah. Now it is the middle of the night. Which means that for once the women's dormitory should actually be occupied. Well. Now isn't that just very interesting? Motherfucker what? Right, well, there was a teleporting rat on the floor, and now there's a teleporting flat rat inside of the floor. Good to know, good to know. Uh, where was my bed again? Good question. Here? Oh, empty. Yeah, of course. Let me guess. Yes. Right, well, um... That's a dormitory for you. <laughs> See? Yeah, right, we'll just pick this random bed then, I guess. No? Ah, shit. Which one's my bed? Uh, that one. No? <laughs> shit. I feel like the developers kind of preempted what my, uh, what my ploy was going to be here. It's like, well, you know, it would present a lot of problems if we allowed you know, obvious boy characters to live in the women's dormitory. In fact, somebody might even decide to take advantage of this, and if one got a little bit creative with the programming side of things, well, <laughs> many, many things could have been created, and so to circumvent this problem, they decided to just simply not have any, you know, women in the women's dormitory. At all. How do I go to bed? Uh, God damn it! It must be something. Map, advanced time, maybe. Wait. Ah, there you go. I'll I'll just sit here for a few dozen hours. There we go. I just wanted to go to sleep. Well, you can't. So, button up. See, this is the problem too, okay? Because, ah, oh, this entire discussion is so retarded. The, the, the transgender bathroom debate, quote-unquote. Like, well, how do you solve it? Well, we'll just not have any women in the bathrooms ever. Oh, there you go. That's a solution, I suppose. 
Uh, even the Volk video game is like, yeah, that would be a problem, wouldn't it? Easily exploitable, too. Maybe we should just, uh, just not. Maybe, maybe. I will say, too, though, the NPCs in this game are fucking boring. It's like, you've got Uganda, which is just Uganda. Diversity higher for the sake of a little bit of checkboxes being ticked off in the video games uh, department. The rest of the NPCs themselves, like, they're Disney voice acted, but I feel like they're trying a little bit too hard to do the whole, like, oh, magical, whimsical retardation thing. With every single character needing to be some kind of stereotype. I thought I destroyed you already. Everything from the, uh, the weird ethnic professor to the old woman. Wow. Whimsical music! There I sit, in my motherfucking underwear still. <laughs> hey. Oh, and it's done. I do miss the mini-games, because it made you feel like you were engaging a bit with the school life. And I'm not engaging with the school life at all. I'm I'm an action I hope hero. You take care of everything I had asked you to do. Now, that's literally what I am. I am an action hero going adventures to solve the great mystery. I'm not attending school in the slightest. There's no, there's no well, like, um, companion to characters to hang out with. There's no after school activities. There is no the illusion charm, whatsoever that I'm going to Hogwarts. I am simply having a Harry Potter drunk. adventure that so happens to be a in Hogwarts. And a steady wand. Alternatively, I can just, you know, click the buttons and not care shit about it. Uh, like that, for example. Good Dr. James says, what is wrong with Norwegian professors? Just heard of one suggesting using brain-dead women as basically telox axetol tanks from Dune. Ah, yes. So, a Norwegian professor had the bright idea that if women were turned into vegetables, you know, through accidents mostly, I don't think he was arguing that we actively turned women into vegetables, although... You know, there's a thought. <laughs> then, instead of, you know, pulling the plug and letting them die peacefully, we might as well use them as incubation beds. It's <laughs> a spicy notion. <laughs> Disarm wands and weapons from most enemies who wield them also damages to all enemies, um, as even if they do not carry a weapon. Okay, well, that's definitely better than the illumination spell. Expelliarmus. Which also right makes me stick, question. But keep practicing. Expelliarmus may save your life one day. If we're gonna use vegetables as breeding beds, why not take this to its logical conclusion, right? Okay. <laughs> let's let's get spicy. Running around in my underwear and talking about invading the girls' dormitory is clearly not spicy enough, as I'm still here. <laughs> but. <laughs> Ah, oh, diggy diggy hole. <clears throat> but yes, we, we've got the problem, right? So the left is on about the incel problem. Like, oh, them darn incels, they're carrying out shooting attacks and stuff all the time. Like, all right, all right. So their gripe is that they can't have the sexy waxy. Okay, well, if we've got vegetables that we are breeding anyways, why not combine the two? Surely this would solve many, many of society's pressing issues, right? <laughs> God, can you can you imagine bringing this to their family, though? Like, <laughs> like I am sorry to say, your wife is brain dead, sir. Like, oh God, now what? Well, we could hire her out as a flashlight to those in need, <laughs> and maybe have her pop out a few babies. <laughs> oh fucking Christ! Oh, that is so terrible. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine that being on a form. You just hand to the next of kin with a little tick box, like, would you like your wife to be bred after she's declared bred? <laughs> it just gets a little bit worse the more you think about it. Holy shit. Ah. Oh. 
Ay, ay, ay. Well, you know, Norway has, has to be uh, inventive in one way or another, I guess. <laughs> ay. Uh, this isn't necessarily what I would like for my country to be famous for, but, uh, you know... Sometimes you, you can't choose what you're going to be uh, known for. Oh, God. Another... Uh, another frog. I was having fun talking about real-life goddamn demon Calabas, and then another living root system comes back. Wait. What about... They do do more damage. All right. Well, that's nice to know. Ow! I dodged that, you piece of shit. Incendio. Uh. Uh. All right. You gotta dodge when the tongue is out of the mouth. Otherwise, you're gonna get tongued anyway. It's good to know. All right. Incendio. Expelliarmus. Mm. Mm. Itu diku maximusu. Spellcraftu. Flying, fiery, penis, penetration, spell power. You know, I don't think he can actually hit me. They have remarkably poor depth perception, these things. I don't see how they could possibly survive in the wilds on their own. Uh, try levitating when they stick their tongue out. Ooh, is that a thing? That'd be kind of cool. Ah, okay, well, we've, uh... These areas have been declared dangerous by the Minister of Magic. Well, that's good, no. At least we've had one good philosophical uh, discussion today. Uh, Mark Same says, You don't need this game. There are plenty of animation programs using 3D models for R18 content. Well, of course, but... Well, to put it like this... If the hot coffee controversy was enough to uh, kick up a storm around Rockstar, imagine this game that already has a um, superfluous quantity of people who are less than positively disposed towards it, and it turns out that you can sneak into the women's dorm with a male character, and then somebody figures out how to animate sex scenes with those characters. I imagine that would kick up what one might uh, colloquially refer to as a bit of a fucking shit show. Yes, I do. It'd be funny. It'd be really funny. And it would certainly illustrate some of the problems with the uh, mixed bathrooms questions, but, um... I imagine... Oh, actually, you know what? No, that would be beneficial, because ideally I would like for the game and the uh, boycott to flop simultaneously, frankly. Oh. Here I am, as good as my word. I just decided to chill here for a few hours. Very well. We meet again, Richard Jackdaw. I suppose I shouldn't be surprised to see you. It took the cunning of a Slytherin to track down these pages. Well said. Now where do we go from here? Follow me. I shall lead you as far as I can, but I fear I may remain a tad reluctant to revisit the scene of my demise. Keep your eyes open for a birdbath. When you find it, say Intramuros. I think it's Latin. Or Greek. As you can imagine, I never paid much attention in school. Shall we? So, if the language of la of magic is Latin or Greek, does that mean that the Romans and Greeks were just, from the you know, making Latin, making magic every time they Indeed. opened their mouths? A few landmarks, a stone bridge, a waterfall, and, if I recall, a lake. And they were wiping Eels their ass, going like, oh, that's a fine one right there, and it just, you know, it made the toilet paper dance about or something. You know, they leave an awful lot of cash just lying around in the Forbidden Forest for some reason. Hmm. Yes. You know, the closer we get, the more I'm remembering. Probably best I leave you to it. Simply stick to the path and keep a sharp eye out for that bird bar. Adieu. Oh. Oh, mother fuck Level 20! Ah, even my bullshit magic didn't kill it in one go. That's a problem. That was not what I intended to do. Alright, okay. At least my stunny bullshit works on them, so I might have a chance. Uh, are you gonna... 
Push my ass now. The music got a lot louder all of a sudden. Like a lot louder. Uh, that's not the settings, settings, settings. I thought I opened settings. Alright, where are you, you filthy spider -o? Ow! Yep. Jesus! I didn't have a chance! I feel like I might be vastly underleveled for this area, frankly. Handy resource indeed, your field guide. Now, I'll try one more time, but I have a sneaking suspicion. This might not be doable at my current level. Incendio. What? Apparently that missed. Okay. I mean, I can deal damage to them. Incendio. Oh no 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 no! Ow! Accio. Piece of shit! Incendio. Expelliarmus. Okay, keep shooting, keep shooting. And there. They're nowhere near as tough as the big fat toad things, that's at least nice. Oh. Oh, okay, that's what that was causing that. So that one attacks by shooting its babies at me. That was not at all what I was intending to do, since that was a complete not a waste of a massive goddamn spell. Only any new of us now. Ow! One hit, no, not quite. Incendio. Okay, doesn't like fire. Deep shit die, monster spite. That was not as dangerous as I thought it was. I am on like zero hit points, and I'm a little bit worried that zero hit points is not going to be enough here. Okay, what about when he rears up? Maybe I can levitate him when he does that. Luckily, most enemies in this video game are remarkably stupid. Otherwise, this would be pretty fucking hard. Granted, most enemies are also immune to half of my fucking disabling spells, so there's that as well. Die! Piece of shit, just die! Alright, we'll just disarm the spider. Oh, that's dangerously close. Come on. There we are. Cursed fiends indeed. Whew. Ay, ay, ay. Nasty. Nothing to do now but keep going. Oh. Uh. Potato. Okay. Potato works on them. That's good to know. Incendium. I feel like the game has uh, underprepared me for the challenges I'm about to face, frankly. I feel maybe like I should stock up on some health potions at some point as well. Oh, good god. Alright. Bad people. The waterfall. For a thief, Jackdaw's surprisingly as good as his word. Dum 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 dum. I hear crystally noises. And there's a giant bear mark over there. That probably means I'm about to be eaten by something. Puffskeen. Puffskeen! Come to me! Fluffy bit of thing! I don't even know what you are, but you're fluffy. Can you die? You can't die. Okay. I don't know what these things are, but I would like to own one. Perhaps several. Maybe wear them as hats. 
Oh, hi. Uh, Oliver Nord says, actually, the book shows a case where Harry do try to go into the girls' dorm. They were up a flight of stair which would change into a slide, shoving, shoving the detected, de detected boys down said stairs. Well, that's, that's terrible. Did the boys' dorm have a symbol of defense, or were they like, nah, boys are not valuable? Such regal creatures, stags. Oh, yes, regal creatures. Oh, going the wrong way. Wait, there's something over there. Perhaps it's the ingredients for health potions. Because that'd be useful right about now. Oh, here's a pleasant surprise. Uh, pleasant, I don't know about that. Fine, I'll try doing one of these things again. Alright, now what? I have no goddamn idea. And then there's marks on the trees. Is that supposed to be indicative of something? Oh, balls. More fire cauldrons, I guess. One over there, one over there. What the fuck is that? Ah! Sorry, video game, I... Oh god, I hate the fucking on rails bullshit. Uh, okay, well, we'll assume the things are along the path then, it's shall ending. we? That seems reasonable to assume. Incendio. Oh, yep, that did hit. Uh... Oh, I have no idea where the last one is. Or was I supposed to do that in reverse? One there. What? A video game. Okay, one there, one there. Oh, you look. Oh, you're horse people. Okay, well, never mind me. I'm just, you know, here for stuff. Have you seen another pot on a, on a spittle by any chance? No? Ah, uh, never mind, I'm not gonna bother looking for that now. I take it horse people are friendly in the Harry Potter universe. Conga Bongo says, This is not how I expected the Death Court of Krieg to come about. That's true, it's an unexpected origin story. Which, to be fair, is a nice change oh, to all origin Just stories. Chapter described. Intramuros. Oh, the rock is changing. Mystical, magical adventures, hoy! <laughs> what? Protego. Aren't you a little far from home? Oh, I knew you'd eventually lead us to whatever it is you're hiding. But, uh, well, this is unfortunate. You've been paying attention in defense against the Dark Hearts, Ooh. I see. Oop. Okay. Whoa. That was a. That was a long range attack. From shoes to shadow. Oh no, he's immune to that shit. Ah, goddammit. Does every enemy in this bloody video game just fucking teleport? Oh, they do, don't they? I feel like the developers were too lazy to try and figure out a melee combat system, and so just every enemy just teleports to your position wherever it might be. There it is. Right, need to Think use potato nice. more. Huh. Don't play the entire cutscene. Don't play the entire cutscene. Don't waste so much of my time. Please don't play the entire goddamn cutscene. You're gonna play the entire goddamn cutscene. Right, maybe I can be in a slightly more advantageous position. No, no, I have to touch the door. Nope. Don't play the entire cutscene video game. I've seen it already. Cease. Oh. Stop. 
Oh, I hate the lock-on system. I don't think there's ever a single video game in human history that has done lock-on combat well. Okay. Kill. All right, now I've got a ranged way to get over his shield, so that's nice. Except it didn't. Okay. Incendio. Stun. 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 And dead. I risk those loyalists will report back to Ranrock now. Let's see where Jack Doris led me. At least I get I get to pick up their insides, so I can use them in my potion making class. That's nice. You know, their guts aren't going to be beneficial to them anymore, so I might as well pick them up and use them. Jackson Key says, I mean, we have the government willing to help you shuffle off your mortal coil. Of course, the next step, excuse me, uh, was to get rid of the you part and keep the rest. Side note, when can we move to Mars? It's a good question. But you yeah, know, this is the crazy. next logical step in the Canadian healthcare service. They'll just declare that, well, you know, you've moved on as a person. And so now your body, well, it's just an item, an item of government property as it so turns out and you know the government has valuable uses for you to fix the birth rate issue oh it's a little bit cruel more than a little bit cruel actually it's Should really cruel simple, but it doesn't stay lit for long huh but i thought i shot all three before they time out on me okay there I shot all three. Just like I did the preceding time video game. Impressive. That must be where all this leads. But it holds this has bought and have been playing Songs of Six. It's pretty fun, though a bit clunky. It's an extremely charming little video game. It's so cool. I love the I love the hell out of it. Songs of Six is a great video game. Someone didn't want casual visitors down here. Oh god, is it yet another cuckolding cave? Jesus Christ, this is my third one so far. I wonder if any of my spells will be through this. Women in this universe are not particularly faithful, are they? Whoa. Alright, potato works against that, which is nice. Boom, 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 boom. Piece of shit. Okay, potato works against that too, which is nice. Alright. Oh, I thought that would uh, do the potato. No. Okay, so. Every enemy does just actually fucking teleport, don't they? Come here. Die. Well, I suppose just having all of the enemies teleport to your position is a nice way to get around the problems of a close quarters combat system in a world of magic. Oh. Yeah, no. I can tell what that's all about. Uh, I don't need to go in there. Do I want to go in there? I feel like I don't want to go in there, but there's a secret chest in there, which makes me want to go in there. Plus, knowing this video game, I have a sneaking suspicion that if I simply just sit here and shoot the bad people, they will have no way to counter my trickery. Expelliarmus. And as it turns out, that is ex- Oh, Jesus, that room is full of them. Uh, the video game is has gotten wise to my trickery, I fear. Uh, maybe not. What if I pull you? Ah, perfect. Very exploitative. Yes, very exploitative, sir. Just like we like it. Come and see here. Watch, watch. This is a very one-sided and cruel genocide when you come to think of it. But they are spiders. I don't think they deserve mercy. Whoa. 
You sneaky little. Tried to turn the tides on me, didn't you, you filth? But you failed. You didn't count on my magical prowess and prostitution powers. Are their numbers decreasing at all? Incendio. I sure hope so. Come on. Accio. Fetch your Spido. Incendio. Set fire to Spido. That was not what I intended. Video game. Expelliarm. Incendio. Right. They're just about all dead. Two left. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. Oh, okay. Ooh. I'm not gonna touch those. Levioso. Accio. Incendio. Whoa. Expelliarmus. I do like it when they scream in pain and suffering. It is most delicious. You have uncollected rewards available in the challenges menu. Uh huh, which is a challenge. I mean, it probably was a challenge if I hadn't cheesed half of it. Right, touch the chest, have a million spiders appear right behind you, fight for your life, scream loudly. No? opportunity. Lord of the Possum asks, how's the game going? It's going fairly well. Uh, Jonathan Massey just had a thought. Imagine if the woman was in a coma. Their body was used by the state and then they woke up while giving birth. That would bring up a lot of questions. Yes, yes, I think it would. I, I, I really think it would bring up several questions. Questions that, frankly, I don't think we should endeavor to answer anytime soon, honestly. Alright, challenges. Uh, combat? Defeat? Bugs? Uh, what does that do? Gear trait recipe reward? Whatever the hell that is. I don't know, but I'm sure it's absolutely adorable. Right, so I have myself a face mask now. Except it's too high level, you know. I don't know how to put it on just yet, but... Uh, I'll be smarter eventually, as I get my level 12 loot in the level 20 dungeon. Ooh. Well, that looks dangerous. If I could summon that platform to me, I could likely get on it. Like this? Don't know if that really helps, mind you. Accio. Ah, then I can pull myself to that platform. Uh huh. How very, very clever. How very ingenious, you might even say. Ah, yes, pick up the 13 coins, but not the enormous fucking jade and gold egg next to it. Or the gold platter or anything, no. But I found a dusty old hat. That'll do. Hmm. Oh, I'm too stupid to put on the hat. Well, I tried. Uh, is the water instant death? Akio. I have no idea what these crystals are, but I'm sure they're valuable. Alright. No need to fear, no need to worry just yet. The potato did its job. God, I'm killing an awful lot of animals in this video game. And humans, for that matter. Plate blazer. I'm just gonna assume I'm too stupid to put that on, so I'm not even gonna try just yet. Oh. Ah. I heard you back there, I just couldn't quite react quick enough. 
More of you. Levioso. There. Eight legs is simply another puzzle. Well, if Jackdaw could solve this, so can I. Uh... Okay, well, it doesn't look like much of a puzzle, necessarily. Expelliarmus! Bing bong! Bong. Yes? No? Okay. Bing bong, bang! Boom! Boom! Or is it just that I need to do it in a certain order, like last time? Order. Okay, fair enough. Oh, that's unusual. The stone bridge is roaring at me. I find that disturbing, but... Uh... Come, little hawk lump juices. Be inside of my pocket. You will be safe in there. Until I eat you, that is. Then you will be dead. But until then, you will be safe. I see you there, you sneaky little pieces of... No, well, the video game says I don't see them, so... I am about to be surprised. Die, 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 die. Good. Good. They did die, just like I asked them to. Oh, a secret? An unguarded secret, mayhaps? Yes. An untouched chest. Tactile wasn't very thorough in his search of this cave. You're right, he was a complete and fucking amateur, actually. Again, considering he got his head chopped off, that should be an indication that he was never a very good thief. Ooh, that looks passable, but maybe not it's now. It's a good thing Jackdaw didn't fall down there. Damn spider things. Ugh. Hmm, that looks secret. Let's go there first. Find all the secrets, first and foremost. One must get equipment, because I am clearly under leveled and under equipped. That's odd. I'd have thought Jackdaw would have been interested in this loot, but there's no sign of him. Is the video game telling me that maybe Jackdaw fucking lied to my birthday little face and was actually never in here? And he's sending me to my death only to steal my hard-won pages? Or maybe he's working with the goblin conspiracists? Hmm. Misa think Jackdaw might be a bad person. Go ahead. Go ahead. I'm glad Richard Jackdaw left a little something behind for me, but where could he be? Protego. Well, this is just what we call uncomfortable, frankly. There, commit genocide on the unborn babies. Murder them all, because they're the wrong species and I find them disgusting. Kill them all. They're the wrong kind of baby. There. Of course, if I'm murdering babies at the moment, that does raise an interesting question. Namely, what of what gave birth to all of these babies that I'm currently genociding? Because surely... There's going to be something somewhere that's going to be very, very angry with me killing all of their children. You'd think. Not a headless skeleton in sight. Hmm. But I may as well help myself to this. Oh, uh, uh, I might as well help myself to these little goodies right here, yes. Oh, there's a thing over there, but I can't get it. This game does have its cheese. Yes, chat, it very much so does. There's quite a lot of cheese, in fact. See, since the game told me to not go down there, I'm kind of tempted to go down there. Will the game kill me if I do? And knowing this game, I feel like it probably will. I mean, if I go 15 feet off the beaten path, the game threatens to chop my head off. 
Then again, there seems like there could be a secret over there. Let's try. Oh. Yep, nope, the video game just fucking executes me if I try. <sighs> oh, well. You didn't put me back too far, did you? No. Oh, creepy crawly walls. Nobody likes the creepy crawly walls. Yeah. Video game has exploring in it, except if you go down there, in which case video game has death. Only death, frankly. I need to learn how to use potato more instinctually. Oh, Jesus. Ow! He's a shit. That is a lot of enemies. Yeah. Mm -mm. Oh shit. In it. Yep. Oh, well, I was dead already. I am vastly underleveled for this goddamn nonsense. Oh, not there back here. I. Back here. Video game. What the fuck? Akio. There we go. God damn it. Sometimes the game is not quite as responsive as I would like for it to be, which annoys me uh, greatly. Akio. Incending. Kill. Kill, kill, kill. No, oh, you stay in the air. I don't have the time or wherewithal to deal with you just yet. Incendio. Die. And die. Not my fault you're a deadly great spider. <laughs> oh, that was brilliant. It's like, not my fault I had to kill you, okay? You tried to attack me, so I had to murder you. You came inside of our home and killed our children. <laughs> we were defending ourselves. Well, not... My problem. An untouched chest. Tarotor wasn't very thorough in his search of this cave. He wasn't. That's what? odd. I'd have thought Jackdaw would have been interested in this loot, but there's My no sign of it. Our fault. Seriously, there's an inventory system in this game? Why? Oh, that's, those are nice little gloves. Why would you put an inventory system in this game? Uh, destroy. I just break them apart. I could, I could bring them back home or something, but you know, there's other loot in this chest, so I just snap the glasses in two right in front of me. I mean, I don't like these anymore. Crush. You know, un unless, unless you have like weight mechanics and limitations based on weight, right? Like, uh. How much ammo you can carry or something like that. Or um, you've got an armor system, for example, as you can only equip so many pieces of heavy and medium armor, yeah. right? Unless you've got something like that, you shouldn't have inventory slots for loot. Because that's just annoying. Yeah, it's just silly, and I don't think anybody likes it. See, that worked out just fine. I mean, what's the point of stopping me from gathering all of this useless trash down here? I guess you could say that I'm maximizing, like, money, maybe? Oh, that was an int- Okay. Alright. Uh. Ah, there we go. I need to turn off the stupid spell. 
Like, yo, gear touch, R4, right? Because all this really does is forcing me to go back into the inventory and occasionally and break some of my shit. Uh, well. Break that. And break that. Oh, and the black fingerless gloves are, of course, also garbage. That's the worst part. You don't even get the opportunity to compare them. Like, is this better than what I have? You don't know. You're just gonna have to fucking crush something in your bare hands. Then we'll tell you. Skeptical as to the usefulness of this video game's mechanic. There it is. The bridge, it's almost complete. Oh, yeah, this doesn't look dangerous. Oh. Lots of spiders, actually. Expelliarmus, incendio. Protego, stupid. Protego. Right, you chill out in the air for a bit. You come over here. And die. And you can do the same. Come on. Oh, it's just like playing a rogue in World of Warcraft all over again. Ugh. Shame you're so foul. <laughs> it's a shame you're so physically unattractive. I'm gonna have to fucking murder you now. Oh, Jesus. That was a lot. That was a lot. That was a lot. Okay, try and test the strategy. Kill the little ones first. Nuke the big ones. Oh, that was violent. That was just grotesque. So I turn him small and then step on him. I mean, that's just cruel. That adds insult to, well, murder. Oh. Better take some Estus. Oh, you motherfuckers just kind of keep coming, don't you? I'm Let betting you're... Go. Yes, you're immune to that. Triggered. Okay. No point in saving the bombs. If they keep spawning so long as the big boys are alive, we kill the big boys. And then we execute the rest. I can only imagine how these spiders have multiplied since Jackal came this way. Right. An encounter well executed. I realized that the game was fucking me, and then I took uh, took actions to counterfuck the video game. I'm brilliant. ZXF do it. ZXF Zeus? Z X F. I'm confused. Oh, the superpower thing? Oh yeah, I figured that out. I figured that all on my lonesome. I understood. I, they kept coming, and so I killed them. Well, I'm a wise person, an intelligent man. Yes. I didn't even need to be told. Zed in fights. Is Zed something for fights? Uh, okay. Another one of these. So. There's a gong. The symbol. Not a headless skeleton in sight. Hmm. But I may as well help myself to this. There's going to be a third around here somewhere, isn't there? Incendio! Expelliarmus! Because if I hit those two. Or maybe that? No, no, there you go. Okay, well, wait until I click back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There you go. You have to complete Merlin Trials challenges to increase gear slots. Well, that's just dumb, isn't it? That's just stupid, in my opinion. Just fucking foolish, in fact. Must be getting closer to Jackdaw's remains and those pages. Oh, I see. Uh, I see bad people up ahead. I also see a decapitated corpse. Hmm. How about 
How about, how about I do that save the video game thing here? Actually, no, never mind. I'm not sure it's going to auto-save me. So we've got uh, lots of skeletons. Again, lots of many percent. Thank you for keeping these pages safe all these years. Safe. Let's grab the loot first before I trigger this obvious boss chamber. A one health potion! Thank you, video game. Very generous of you. Now, if you could stop hitting me for 75% of my goddamn hit point bar. You're doomed, Jackdaw. Hmm. Is there something beyond this room? Well. Come at me, you filthy wankaroos. Potato! You just come and try it. Oh, no! That's not a potato level thing. You, you fuckers have got ranged attacks now? Can I disarm the robots? Like, surely disarming the robots just kills them, right? You think? Oh. Yes, yes it does. Yes, it actually does. Well, that's nice. I mean, I assume they can still just punch me in the face. And they're made out of rock, so they're probably pretty good at it. But still, it's nice to have the option, isn't it? Put down that sword, Mr. Bigglesby. Oh, okay, never mind. That was very foolish of you, sir, because now I can do that. Levioso. Yeah, you didn't really look very levioso, to be honest. Fah! Death! Screaming! Anguish! Two on one, eh? Well, I can cheat too! Asshole! Bounce. Hi. Incendio. You thought you were being all kinds of clever, didn't you? Oh, you're going to do that again? Alright. You are very stupid, sir, and you will suffer for it as I shove your asshole full of red lightning. There. Easy peasy. But that's unnerving. What's happening? This is unnerving. I've fought my way through two million spiders, giant bogors, and living statues that try to knock my head off with maces the size of my entire body. But this, this is the point that I find a little bit disturbing. Like, oh, it's a portal there. I've only gone through those like four times already. That's creepy. Where am I? The third wife's cuckolding nest, presumably. Oh, no. The room's starting to flood. Okay. Well, in that case, maybe you should uh, get a move on instead of, uh... No, you're just gonna... How am I being protected? What sort of magic is this? I don't know. But it's highly beneficial. This plopper is ancient magic. You have the potential to use Merlin's wisdom music. I can only this magic protects me until I'm able to make my way out of here. I am remarkably blasé about this situation. Like, I'm underwater, I'm about to be... This place? That's not how water pressure works. I'm about to be squished like a grape from the water pressure. I was like, well, I guess I'll just have to accept this. When's the holograph of Merlin going to show up and go like, Plopper, you're a wizard. An ancient wizard. You can use my magic, including my remarkable beard growing magic, which allowed me to have a full beard at the age of 13. It's very impressive. Women were mad. Oh, there we are. Can it be? Hello. I'm your long lost ancestor. Or it's you. Has descendant someone finally found our map chamber? I recognize you from the pensives. You're Professor Rackham. I am indeed. I must confess that I am surprised to see someone so young standing before me. I'm the same age that you and Isadora Morganark were when you started at Hogwarts. You've paid attention, and might I presume you share our ability? 
Yes, so I can call down meteors from the sky. Magic. Yes, sir, I do. As you have likely realized by now, our ability gives us a unique relationship with all forms of magic. We can access expressions of magic that few others can. Opportunities will arise that allow you to sharpen this rare talent. Do not squander them. I won't, Professor. Thank you. We have much to discuss. But first, a map found in a certain book led you here. Place the book on the pedestal. I don't have the book with me, sir. Hmm. That is unfortunate. Yes. I'm afraid we must pause our conversation until you return with the book. All right, I'll just double Very back well. and fight my way through all of your security systems and armies of spiders we with shall the book. Speak again once the book is in place. Your connection to the ancient magic has unlocked talents. You will receive one talent point each time you increase your wizarding level. You have a new talent point spending in the talents menu in the field guide. Ah, so this was the actually the uh, the RPG system. Well, I mean, duh. Blood curse. That sounds rather cruel. And all curse targets. That's kind of cute. Stunning curse. Stupefy has the effect as a curse on enemies. Cursed enemies take increased damage. That's not a bad one either. Disarming curse. Expelleramus has the same effect as a curse on enemies. Cursed enemies takes increased damage. So, hmm. The sort of idea there is that you hit them with that first, and then you can hit multiple targets. Aha. Uh -huh. So if you can pull up, uh, pull off Potato, and then hit somebody with the Disarm, you can hit two targets at once. That's not bad. It's not amazing, but it's not bad. Fertilize? <laughs> Ah. Well, I haven't really been using the chomping cabbages yet, so... Air Dust Portion makes you invulnerable and defect for attacks back at enemies. That's pretty good. Uh, how long does that last? I didn't actually use the potion in this encounter, which might have been a little bit foolish of me. Put it in my gear slot, maybe. No? Because there's got to be a key associated with them, I guess. Oh, eh, well. Uh, cool. Heals you to a greater effect. Well, it already heals my entire health bar, so... A new spell set, is that... Oh, really? <laughs> I have to unlock spell... Oh, fine. Holding down dodge allows you to vanish quickly and reappear nearby. That's not bad. Magic meter. Throw catches and throws. Ancient magic throw catches and th throws? What? Ancient magic throw catches and throws disarmed enemy wedge of weapons. Ancient magic throw. Is that an ability, I guess? Basic cast impact, reduce spell cooldown. That's good. That is really good. That one, immediately. Yeah, that's incredibly good. Spells. Uh, also levitated. That's pretty good. Uh, also pulled to you. That's even better. A ring of flame around you. Wow, okay. Yeah, no, all of these are great. All of these are great. All of these are great. Like, those are just amazing. Yep, pick all of those. Stealth. Next is reduced. Sprint while using disillusionment. Eh, I'm not too worried about that. Okay, we'll add Curse to that. We'll add that too. 
Because, you know, being a wizard of the dark arts is obviously the, the best thing to do in a Harry Plopper game. I'm sure none of my tent teachers and senseis might be asking questions as to how I'm able to pull off this bullshit or anything like that. Are there any, uh, like, uh, I don't know, gifts in here? Gold chests? Equipment? Magic wands? No? No. It's just a big, empty, dumb room. Okay, well... That was kind of fun. I enjoyed that dungeon. I feel like this game doesn't have enough combat, honestly, because the combat is quite good. It's a little frustrating here and there, but... Why would I need the book? Oh, because it's going to unlock something fancy, of course. Duh. I thought the Foo Flame thingies was invented after all this was built, though. Well, conveniences, I guess. It's a chest with an eyeball. I still don't know how to fucking open you, so. Levioso, Expelliant, Incendio, Accio. Well, none of that worked. Now I'm sure I'll get something at some point to make them open. Incendio. Are you. What if anything did that do? Nothing. But it made the room slightly brighter. Well, that's good, I guess. Go stealth, then sneak on the chest. Oh, really, chat? That is valuable information. Yeah, now I see why you'd want to unlock the several bars, because now I've got to go into the fucking menu and put in the sneaky spell. For convenience's sake. See, now I just feel bad for it. Like, that's just mean, cruel, and unusual. I don't think you should do that to things, especially on things that whimper like dogs. Very cruel. Remarkably so. It did have 500 bucks inside of it, though, so I guess I can't possibly feel too bad. Thank you, Jax. I'm back at Hogwarts. Of course I am. I wonder oh. when Professor Fig will be back. I did promise him I wouldn't neglect my studies while he was away. Suppose I have enough to distract myself with till he returns with the book. Well, that was a big, fat, filthy, dirty lie now, wasn't it? Destroy! Oh, an unidentified hat. I don't even know if it's a hat, really. Oh, well. Clearly, I can identify that it's supposed to be worn on my head, but beyond that, I have no idea what this is. It is his hat? What is hat's powers? I don't know. I am but a mere witch, after all. Simple witches could not possibly understand Rebellion. the depth of hat. Draco Dormis Nuquum. Never tickle sleeping dragon. The particular sleeping dragon is made of stone and will never awaken. It may be tickled to absolutely no effect. You made your point. I wonder if the goats are capable of killing one another. What? I hear a... Revelio. There's a plinky plinky noise somewhere. It's a Chinese eye. Good for me. Good for you. So many things inside of the walls, none of which can be easily reached. A tragedy to be sure. Right, it's the middle of the night. Only the ghosts are awake. I am wandering around, unsupervised. You'd think at least some of a few of the teachers would be out and about, like, just, you know, looking around. Insane. Trying to figure out why the hell students are wandering around unsupervised. Maybe yelling at them loudly, uh, something. Ooh, I'm level 12. That means I can finally put on my next set of gear. 
Right, there you go. Ah, but not face masks and glasses. No, no sorry. You're, you're gonna have to just be blind, okay? That's how that works. Room of requirements to reveal its qualities. All right, fair enough. Not sure where the room of requirement is, but... Not there. The bell tower. The grand staircase. The library annex. Secret rooms? Fair enough. Room of requirements. Oh well. <laughs> you have magic, why would you steal the blind? Well, listen, my disability is part of my identity, okay? And I find it extraordinary. God, this get up is awful. I find it extraordinarily offensive that you might think that I would want to get rid of my disability. Rebellion. It's obviously far too important to me. Huh? Poke? <gasps> oh, well, I tried, but my gear slots are full again. Oh, I don't have any more cloaks. Did I have any more fancy neckwear? No. Well, that outfit is much better than the previous one. Actually, that looks almost kind of cool. In a bit of a semi-retarded way, but fair enough. Look at that, I look kind of civilized. Well, I do look like a fucking creepy-ass stalker and probably a thief and maybe even a serial rapist with the gloves on, but... I look... I look less suspicious now than I did previously. Which I appreciate, in its own way. Well, I could go back to the student dormitory, but since there's nobody ever there and everyone just evicts themselves from the student dormitory at night, I guess everybody else is just, you know waiting around places, so I might as well do the same. Ah, there, it's morning again. Hello, did you just stare at me sleep all night? Because if you did, I want you to know that I'm into that. Now that she knows, I can move on with my day. Dear, I what? shall get in trouble for this. Well, that was impressive. Now, please don't burn to death when Incendio. I do this. There we are. Oh wait, he's a quest. That was nothing. You should see the charm I've been working on. Okay, what do you want me to do then? Is everything all right? I'm not suspicious. Oh, hello. In Thank the you slightest. For I'm Cressida, by the way, and I'm afraid everything's not all right. I may be in a spot of trouble with the librarian. You see, I'm fond of creating my own charms. Thought I'd perfected my light as a feather charm to use on my library books. My arms get so tired carrying them around all day. But I must have confused the Latin word for feather with bird in my incantation, because when I opened my bag just now in the library, they literally took flight. That is unfortunate. <laughs> that is amazing, that's true. That sounds brilliant, actually. Thank you. Somehow I don't think the librarian will see it that way. I collect the books and remove the charm myself, except this isn't the first time one of my charms has threatened the peace of the library. Our meat told Madame Scribner they were my books flying around, so she said that if I caused her any more trouble, she'd write to my parents. Perhaps you could get them for me. There are only five. She won't be suspicious of a new student looking around. I suppose I could help. It occurs to me that each and every single one of these fucking children is basically a walking nuclear warhead. 
Like, if, if fucking up one word causes the books to go from light as a feather to literally flying around the library, presumably also flying into people, ramming them, crushing open their heads, etc., that seems remarkably dangerous. Books. Imagine if she'd fucked up another words. Only four more to go. You know, light as a brick, maybe, but with the velocity of a bullet. Suddenly, you've got books weighing about the same as a nice hefty brick flying around the library at very high speeds, smushing little students' skulls open and smearing their lovely little promising brain matter Akio. all over the inside of the library's walls. One might think that this would cause the librarian to be an extra... a bit extra pissed off, frankly. Hmm, I'm surprised... The school hasn't blown up already. Somebody uses the Latin word for atom and splits. And suddenly there's no more Hogwarts. Just a nice big radioactive crater in the ground, teaching everyone a valuable lesson about mispronouncing words. Akio. Yeah, don't mind me, Mr. Mr. Librarian person dude, I'm just... You know, hunting down flying books in your library. Absolutely nothing suspicious about it at all. Absolutely nothing whatsoever. If I could find them, that is. Oh. This must be Cressida's diary. I'd want this back too if I were her. Ah. Now, it's a bit cruel to read somebody's diary, so... We shan't be so uncouth. I might look like a comic book villain, but that doesn't make me one. I'm, in fact, quite a gentleman, honestly. That's why Reading I joined the women's dorm. As any spell. Why can't students see that? Well, that's true, actually. Revelio. Hmm, this looks like a secret. No? Ah, was worth a try. Ooh, 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 ooh. Behind the fireplace. <laughs> Actually, there's a room behind the fireplace. Rebellion. Aha. Come on, come on, there's gotta be a way in there. You, old woman, get in the fireplace now. Put out the fire with your fucking old frail body if you have to. I know it's that sounds else. a little bit cruel, but there might be treasure in there. Accio. Incendio. Levioso. Yeah, setting up more on fire probably won't work. Uh, I'll probably get a water spell or something. Something in the future. Oh god, there's one more book to collect. The last one is always the hard one. Book, 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 book. 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 Book, book, book. I wonder how many pervy novels are hidden amongst all of the other items at Hogwarts. One of my more interesting discoveries as a young lad was figuring out that the library at my school had certain books where the the cover of the book did not necessarily indicate the interior of the book, shall we say. There were some fascinating discoveries to be had there, hmm. especially for a 13-year-old. A ban on magic in the library. You know, to be fair, considering what I'm currently doing, that sounds like a pretty good idea. Book! You would think that'd be a book finding spell. Book Apiro. Book cometh unto Mio. Aha! Accio. That's the last there book. Now to take them back to Cressida. Don't worry, Cressida, the librarian is blind as a bat and did not notice the five books flittering around her library causing incredible havoc and mayhem. And perhaps casualties as well. Uh, ah, there. Here, your diary. Hello, Cressida. Now, if I you want it back, you're going to have to pay me. Diary. Oh, what a relief. Thank you. I'll I don't happily know, take the here. heavy lot off your hands now. 
<laughs> yes. Unless you want your classmates to know how you really feel about them, you might reward <laughs> me for my time. <laughs> oh, you're not at all who I thought you to be. I am a Slytherin. Look at my fucking jacket. And you're not who I thought you to be. Based upon your diary, you seem terribly judgmental. Yeah, bigot. Fine. I shall pay you. But you cannot begin to imagine what I shall be writing about you next. Uh, you strike me as the submissive sort. Should I'm guessing it's going to be erotic. Them. Ah, she gave me her wand handle and 300 gold. Oh, Jesus, children today have too much fucking money. I, I do need to go sell some of my stuff, don't I? Sometimes it seems all roads lead to Hogsmeade. Just sometimes, though. Alright, where was the shop? I need to sell my shit. Wasn't it down here? I think it was over here. Was it? Nope, that was not it. Was that it? Nope. And... Yes. Come in, look around, and if you've been eating chocolate frogs, please refrain from touching. Oh, don't worry about it. I've Let got a lot of today. random junk I found whilst exploring ancient ruins in the backyard of Hogwarts. Don't worry, it's perfectly uh, natural. You know. If I haven't said it before, it's a pleasure doing business with you. Children explore ancient forgotten ruins all the time, didn't you know? The favoured pastime of people in my position. Do you by a chance have any recipes for getting, you know, baby spider blood off my gauntlets? Because uh, it's awfully sticky, if I may be entirely honest with you. Ooh, now that's disturbing. Hmm, no white cloaks, however. That with a nice pointed hat. Ooh, that would... That would truly be something. Mm. Mm. Tempting. It is better than my asylum mask, but I actually kind of like how the asylum mask Expect makes me look, particularly with this fashion. large hat. Be sure to stop by. Now, I wish I wouldn't. House. I would stop leaning forward like that because it makes me look like a like a hobo or a pervert. But that is life. <gasps> Pussy. Meow. White cloak top row. Oh, well, now I'm going to have to go back again. Excuse me. Any white robes and pointy hats, perchance? Please, uh, come in. Let me know if you need help finding anything. Uh, diamond weave robe, yeah, I maybe. That looks as if it was made for you. Uh, I don't know about that. This looks a bit ridiculous, frankly. Hmm. I'd say that looks as if it was made for you. I, mean, I think you're a tard. Oh, that's disgusting. <laughs> oh, oh, that's awful. Oh, that's awful. No, no, no. There are limits even to my depravities. I'd say that looks as if it was made for you. Wow, that makes me look like an old man. No. Hmm. It's too much pattern. It's just, it's too much pattern. It's too much pattern. I too much pattern. I expect you have a sharp eye for fashion. Be sure to stop by whenever Oh, you have no idea, sir. Uh, I'll have to, ooh, pussy. I'll have to hope for something better than that. White cloak on top row. I did look at the top row. Come on in and have a look around. Yeah, no that one. Diamond Weave yeah, Robe. Yeah, it's got too much patterns on it. it got too much patterns. It doesn't pro It doesn't look properly white. It doesn't look properly white. It's got to be properly white. If it isn't properly white, it's not any fun. Sure to stop by whenever you're about. Did I pet this pussy? I did pet that pussy. Okay, that's fine. So long as I have petted the pussy, I'm okay. 
Uh, speaking of... Was this where I bought... No. This is... I mean, to be fair, if I was a kid, I'd probably be squealing right about now. Oh, I've eat that. That's not normal. Oh, I see. I wanted to buy ingredients for health potions because, well, I'm constantly getting killed. There. I still don't have any way to actually brew them, I don't think, but uh, at least if I have the stuff for them. Oh, wait, no, I needed the other guy to do that, didn't I? Because he just sells potions. Well, let's see. Are health well, potions are ridiculously like expensive, no perchance? Any assistance at all. Ew, a hundred bucks. Seems a bit extreme. I hope to see you again. Farewell for now. I feel like I've heard that guy's voice before somewhere. Hmm. For this guy. There was a guy over here that sold ingredients, I'm pretty sure. Was it there? Or was it there? No. This does not look like a potion ingredient sort of place. Uh, unless you're engaged in necromancy, I suppose, in which case, you know, go ahead. This looks more like it. <clears throat> Stupid pumpkins are in the way. Alright, what are even the recipe? Do I have the recipe? Brooms. Huh. I don't actually know. Oh, I mean, this is cute, but... Maybe it'll tell me. Uh, Jeff D says, Did you hear about Ubisoft oh, you? trying to report well, a dude in Norway to the British police? Uh, v did a video about it yesterday. Uh, I did hear something about that, yes, and that they were going to try and report people for uh, violating their, their ever holy... Uh, they have a holy um, toss or whatever. No one can say I don't keep a stack shelf. Which is retarded. And they should be ashamed of themselves. Plus, I'm pretty sure violating, like, terms of service or community I'm standards is come. not illegal. In fact, that is ridiculous. I'll look into it a little bit more, because that would be perhaps an interesting topic for uh, tomorrow's Archcast. What's that over there? <gasps> Mongrels! Mongrels! <laughs> Die, doggies! Because I can use your pelt. Oh. Oh, your your pelts and your bodies are two different things. I see. Don't ask me how, but if you say so. Sorry, well, first, I need your insides to make endurance potions, okay? It's very important. I know that to you, your life might seem more important, but, well, it isn't. So... Just, you know, die. Ah, oh, crap. This requires something else, doesn't it? Ah. Uh, rock? Expelliarmus. Nope. Levioso. Nope. Accio. Nope. Incendium. Oh. Uh, well, I gave up. <laughs> nice and quick. I right, listen, listen, I tried the spells I had on it, and it didn't work. Huh? I will say, this game is chock full of little items and things and doodads to play with, which is quite nice. Oh, Rebellion. Rebellion. Alihotsi fudge. Made with the leaves of Alihotsi trees, this fudge is a delightful confection that causes uncontrollable laughter. Ah, sounds like that could be used for a wide range of torture.
a lesbian researcher and the bartender of the three broomsticks is a trans. See, okay, are we even sure she's trans? Because here's the thing. This is a universe in which taking candy can make your voice change and do weird things. So couldn't she simply just have eaten a candy for all we know? Seems better to reduce and minimalize their trans presence. Yeah. And to be fair, let's think too. This game, it does have woke shit in it. Oh, it absolutely does. But the woke shit is skin deep. It is corporate performative wokeness at its most extreme like it's just that everybody has a weird skin color there's tons of like transes and peoples and weird nonsense everywhere everybody grab a broom but it has no understanding of the political ideology of the people who push it which i'm actually fine with because it basically means that Mr. Clopton, all i really need to worry about is that there's Sorry, an awful lot of girl. black people and asians Everyone, in 1800s welcome britain a new student to our flying class okay. Hello. the goal of today is to remind all of you how to maneuver on a broomstick safely as broom flight is first and foremost a means of transportation this i fear some of you have forgotten Diving, rolling, I am and Chinese. Loop the loops will not be taught or in fact tolerated in this class. We'll leave that to professional Quidditch players, like the Toyohashi Tengu. Oh, Japanese, not a family sorry. Ticket. Now, let's see how well everyone kept up with their practice over the summer holidays. For those who need a refresher, step up to your broom, say up firmly and clearly, then kick your leg over and rest your Sensei, way I've never seat. ridden a broom in my entire life. I'm a fifth year student. I have no idea what's going to happen. Please have sent me out on a high speed instrument that I have no Thank clue you. how to control. Now, your turn. Up, 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 you stupid ratty school broom. Sensei, I'm going to fucking die if I do this. Help. Up. One leg over, so there's a leg on each side. None of that side saddle nonsense. A gust of wind will throw you right off. And a gust of wind won't tip you right over because you've got a leg on each side? I don't, I don't think this is that much more stable position, honestly. Oh, magnificent schnauze you have there, sir. And if you hear my whistle while you're in flight, ground yourself at once. Good. Now, All right, insert broom firmly between cheeks. In the courtyard. Do take care. The brooms Ooh. are school property. Ooh. I want them returned in one piece. What? Am I supposed to be doing something? Oh, okay. Vroom. Vroom. God, this is slow. <laughs> this is brilliant. This is. <laughs> this will take some getting used to. What? Well done. Now that you're acclimatized to your brain. Well done, protagonist. Let's see how will you manage with a more advanced exercise, shall we? Are you going to teach me how to speed up yet? I'm frankly not used to have this having this much hard wood in between my this cheeks, frankly. This set of rings will take you around the grounds for more of a challenge. Oh, toggle speed? Yes. Is that as fast as it goes? What a view. <laughs> well, I guess it's something. Hello. Nice day for a Not fucking much, but it's something. Ha! Good. Can I go as fast as her? This. Um, this is pod racing oh, or something French like that. Wish you could have experienced crossing the lake as a first year. Yeah, I wish so too. But I didn't. So why did you have to remind me of it? Why did you have to rub my nose in that shit, huh? There's no need. And yet you did it anyway. Again, this is Whoa. such a fan service moment. Resident likes to make an appearance once in a while. Ooh. <laughs> well, that's pretty cute. This is such a fan service game, and I, I kind of love it for it. Even as somebody who could not really give much of a shit about Harry Plopper, I recognize when a game is playing to its base, and this <laughs> absolutely is. <laughs> This is rather fun. Like, Christ, I imagine being, like, 12 and playing this. Like, I would be fucking overjoyed at this nonsense. Oh, well done! Have a moment? I see. 
say, I watched you fly through those rings. You seem to handle yourself on that dusty school broom well enough. I'd imagine you're ready for something a bit more challenging. Oh, but I'm getting ahead of myself. The teacher's orders. We haven't probably met. I'm Everett Clopton. Am I right in suspecting that a Slytherin like you might be interested in making an escape from class? Sure. Can't say no to that. What did you have in mind? A bit of a detour, so to speak. Follow me. The tour is about to begin. Follow closely now. Right now, we're flying over the Transfiguration Courtyard. <laughs> Lovely as ever. Let's hope the Headmaster isn't having tea by the window today. Mm. Yeah. Nice to get above it all, isn't it? This could be faster. This could be a lot faster. Ahead of the gardens, the Hufflepuff common room windows just peek out. Bit claustrophobic for my taste. I don't know. I think Hufflepuff How sounds adorable. So quickly. Here's something handy to know. Lean forward for a burst of speed. Helpful if you need to escape a tricky situation. Uh, speed burst. <laughs> now that's more like it. Uh, that's better. You sure you're not part hippogriff? Oh. Then it kind of takes it There's away from me after a while. Bridge. Think of all the magic holding it up. I mean, look at it. And the owlery. That's a bit of solid architecture, isn't it? I would like a bit more of a free view camera, because I can't really this is turn my head. Oh, my broomstick That's is out of uh, stamina. This concludes our tour. Best hurry back. Oh, my poor testicles. They're being rubbed so roughly against this Most piece of shit hardwood. Better hurry and oh, me coxicle. Dismount here. We. Oh. Hold B. Very well. I'm gonna die. Oh, no, I didn't. And where have you two been? Uh. Oh, hello, practicing Professor. Flight? We were trying to get a bit of extra practice in. Hefty points will be taken from each of you for not following my instructions. Mr. Clopton, I am disappointed in you. You're in this class because you're still I... because you're still not showing yourself, or frankly, your broom the proper respect. But Professor, enough. Class is finished for the day. Does the points matter at all? As like, do I have an objective? You do well to use better judgment in the future. Listen, I'm the protagonist. Chin up. I do what I want. That was some rather good flying. I know, I am the protagonist. Thank you for reminding me. I forget every five seconds if somebody doesn't rub my ass and give me a Sorry good about touch up. business with Kagawa. But you have to admit, those views were worth it. It was worth losing a few house points for that detour. Yeah, it's not like it affected me. I'd be sure me. a thing or two if I had my own broom. Hate having to return the school broom after class. Perhaps I have to purchase a broom then. If you... I re blah, 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 blah. God, I wish there was Quidditch in this game. At least that would be nice and competitive. There'd be a whole tournament and shit where I could beat other children's ass. What? I did notice that my body, you know, gets set on fire every time I level up. <sighs> I'm not allowed to go in there. Ooh, bells. That's got to be a secret, sure. Revelio. If I ding them, oh, it's just. I figured I could ding them in the correct order to run and release Satan upon the world again, or something equally amusing. More quests. I feel like the game could need a little bit more game, honestly, because I feel like I'm walking around a frightening lot. Yeah, quests. A shadow of the Undercroft. 
The Weasley, Lord's Conjuring Spell, Configuro, Evanesu, Conjuration Spellcraft. Professor Weasley? I don't like Professor Weasley. Can I go back to Professor Garlic? I like Professor Garlic. Well, might as well do that too. Roll for initiative says, Why did they let Slytherin be a thing? Seems like it would be like UK schools having a mustache man youth chapter circa 1940. Well, uh, Slytherin is only blatantly, blindingly evil because Harry Potter is, well, a children's book. Written by a children's book author. And they figured that they needed to make the villains really, 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 really fucking obvious. As far as I understand, Slytherin was actually a really great house and super respected and shit forever. Uh, and Gryffindor was absolute crap. Uh, so Slytherin isn't actually as evil That's as they easy. look, even though they have a, you know, reputation for being douchebags. Hmm. Somewhere away from prying eyes. That orc is tickling his nipples. Indiana Jones will wish to explore this cavity. Forgive me, the headmaster stopped me and I... Merlin's beard. I see you've wasted no time. Well done. Shall we? After you, Professor. I am indeed the protagonist. Um. Ah, yes, chat says Merlin himself was Slytherin. There you go. What is this place? This is the Womb of Requirement. Oh, that's it the Womb of Requirement. It only appears when one is in real need of it. Ordinarily, a student might stumble upon this room entirely by accident. If ever. I'd only planned to suggest to you how to find it by walking past that bit of wall, focusing on what you need. But you've managed to reveal the room on your own. While I'm here, we should take advantage of the moment. Well, my now, protagonist powers, along with the fact that I'm carrying Mr. around Smith a yellow hat in my pocket, Deep, provided Professor. me with everything the I The house elf I was speaking to in my classroom your first day. Thought he might help you use the room once you've found it. <sighs> There's no chance I'm clambering over this mess. Fuck off Oh, mm. I was hoping to set a fire to it. I wasn't allowed. This presents the perfect opportunity to teach you Evanesco. The vanishing spell. Oh, that sounds useful in combat. You can cast Evanesco to vanish certain objects, such as these chairs and other things here. Can I vanish room. people who bother me? I suggest you practice the wand movements first, then you can clear the chairs away. Oh, well, isn't this complex? Look at that. We've got multiple buttons that are required this time. Wow. Splendid. Now, cast Evanescence. Uh, cast Evanescence on the chairs. Make them go poof. Ah. Chairs. Wibbly wobbly, go away. Excellent work. You'll note that you are now in possession of Moonstone. We shall discuss its uses later. Let's move on. Indeed. Sir Jard says, EULAs have never been argued in Wait, court, and in one of the few good that things that the EU has done, it's made it impossible for EU citizens to give up their rights. Oh, dear, oh, something. Dear me. Is that Can't you keep it down? Some of us are trying to rest. My old school bag. I wondered where that had got to. That's Can't fascinating. It's still here. I'll just take a quick look at this. <sighs> give you an opportunity to explore on your own until we learn. Good. Yes, Be Professor. Over there. <laughs> Fuck you off with. Loot. Not loot. Levioso. Accio. Loot. Not loot. What? 
Oh, okay. Hold on. Oh, there's a little bit of tea there. That's fine. It's probably been sitting around here for many, many, Achim. many millennia. Hmm, I thought I could touch that. Doesn't seem to be anything to pull to. But clearly, there's a thing up there. Eh, never mind. Hope this isn't as precarious as it looks. Considering the strategically placed, uh... No, not... Uh, that's not helpful, you worthless pile of tin! Poor bastard. He just wanted to be a good little guard dog. Bit offended the room thought I needed a bath, cheeky thing. <laughs> that's actually kind of cute. I appreciate it. Chinese lantern for a little bit of orienta orientalism. How does anyone other than a house elf manage to get around in here? By crouching, as it turns out. I wish he'd stop. that? You know, just stacking up the chairs was that randomly. A golden there. snitch. A snitch? Perhaps you should summon your wish to find out. <laughs> What is a golden snitch, anyways? Animal? Mechanical doodah diggity bob? Video game. You have caught me in a position where I am not in the mood for puzzles. Ah, screw it. I what? hope that house elf can find us in there. Well, that looks, uh, ominous. That looks broken now. Oh, look, it's a house elf. Yikes, careful. Also, huh? occasionally, if girls to as a oh, house anyways. There you are. Wait right there. Deke will come to you. <sighs> Hello. Deke, we've been looking for you. Uh, apologies, Professor Weasley. Deke was looking through some of what's appeared in the room since Deke was last here. Is this the student? Indeed it is. Deke is honored to meet you. Deke has been a friend since I was a second year. We discovered this room together. I mentioned you to Deke. We believe that you might be able to benefit from this room like I did. Oh. Deke, would you be so kind? Did you of find course, a lot of Professor legendary Weasley. hats in spider caves too? The room of requirement will always be equipped for the seeker's needs. It's unplottable, so won't appear on any map. Most happen upon it by accident. I know. Together, I've already been told this. Students in need of an extra file for potions stumble upon the room filled with them. You seem to have accessed it in its form as the Room of Hidden Things. I was thinking about needing a place away from prying eyes. <laughs> Brilliant. I oh, do look like a it, motherfucking then. villain. What I need specifically is a place where I can catch up on my schoolwork without distraction. Well then, the room can provide you with precisely that. Now, it's time to focus on what you need. I need Just to have my legendary eyes. hat identified. Imagine the room precisely as you need it. The room will do the rest. Hmm. Statues of Big Titted Emma Watson. Maybe Pamela Anderson near Prime. Hell, just make it an enormous pair of marbled others while you're at it. yourself quite a canvas to work with. Ostentatious in the extreme. I like it. I look forward to seeing what you do with the space. Ah, and it seems the room has provided you with a desk of description. 
Excellent. It can identify unfamiliar items. And it comes with a bird. One should always understand the effects of anything in which one is clothed. All right. Put hat on desk. Discover hat's magical properties using owl. Rub owl You'll on find hat. plenty of items of clothing that need to be identified. Yes. Shush, Professor. I have hat. Increased damage with Crucio. I don't know what that is. Ooh, that looks... That looks way, way worse than the one I had. Alright, let's not make it look like that. Let's make it look like that. Uh, not like that. I like my villain look. Valuable resource. Uh, sure. I imagine the desk of description will come in handy. It will. I hope you'll take advantage of it. Now, I'll give you a brief lesson in conjuring. The room might not provide everything you need on its own. Conjuring? Yes, the magic of creating or so, conjuring objects. What if I I'll wanted just an enormous stack of gold bullions? Would that be something the room could provide? Because if so, I imagine lots of people would want to find this room quite uh, desperately. Very good. When conjuring more complex objects, you'll need what's called a spellcraft. Spellcrafts are like recipes. They list the ingredients or resources needed to conjure a particular object. You should have acquired some for a potion station and potting table from tomes and scrolls in Hogsmeade. I did. Where can I find the resources I need? While resources such as Moonstone can be obtained throughout the Highland, they can also be collected by vanishing objects in the room, such as the chairs you vanished. I see. You can indeed. Why don't you give it a try? Uh -huh. So, due to plot conveniences, there are certain limitations on what I can and cannot summon. Huh. A tragedy. But one I'll learn to live with. Uh... Botanical, after my favorite teacher. I'll put it on the corner there. Well, I don't need more of them. One'll one will do. Uh ah. Herbology. That looks fucking filthy, well but done. you can use these whenever you need to brew potions. Indeed. Presuming, of course, you've collected any seeds or potion ingredients you need in Hogsmeade or outside the castle grounds. I'm budgeted for this type of... Oh, because I already have one. Okay. Fair enough. Fair... <gasps> I can put animals' heads on the wall. No, I can't. Statue? Oh, does? No. Rugs? I don't know how to make any of this. Well... Deke will be here to answer any questions you may have. Do not underestimate his insight. He is a professional slave, you know. I will be sure to speak with Deke if I need anything. Thank you. Good luck. I shall linger a bit longer in case you'd like to learn another transfiguration spell for use in the room. No, no, you can go out now. I have things to imagine. Many, many wonderful things to imagine. Uh, Deke, could you go away as well? I don't feel comfortable with you staring, frankly. Ooh. Very imperious. Uh, well, that allows me to actually make things. Horklom plum, dittany leaves, dittany leaves. I need lots of dittany leaves. Can I grow dittany leaves? Do I have dittany seeds? I do. Right, okay. Well, that'll be done in 17 fucking years. Uh, might as well brew the potion, I guess. Again, I feel like it would be cool with a mini game, so you could potentially get two bottles instead of one, for example. Something with a little bit of engagement to it would be lovely. Press F. 
Thank you. I have two healing potions he now. I haven't seen this many plants here before. One? You've never seen one plant before. Huh. Well, that's the life of Deke. Uh, Mark James says, Where are the Hogsmeade wenches? I want to conjure up some gold for their services. Me too. I don't understand why you're not allowed. Oh, I've got a flute candle in here. Hmm. Right. Well, with that, I think I'll uh, wrap up today's session as there's a little bit of multiplayer going on eventually over on uh, Carl's channel too. Plus, my arse is starting to hurt. My new ergonomic chair is not kind on the buttocks you see and I must get up, move about, and restore blood flow to my cheeks. Otherwise, they might fall off and that'd be tragic. Hmm, let's see. What's the raid function like again? Every time I forget where it is. There it is. Redirect. Let's see. Upcoming, upcoming, upcoming. Ah, dev. I haven't rerouted to Dev in ages, so I'll redirect to uh, Little Dev this time. I think he's playing uh, the same game, too, so that'll be fitting. And I will be playing Enlisted over on Carl's channel in about 30, 40 minutes to an hour, maybe. So consider checking that out as well. Until next time, thank you all very much for watching, and thank you for your super generous donations, and maybe we'll play some more of this. I don't know. Like, I, I kind of like it, but I'm also not... A Harry Potter person. We'll see. Until next time, have a good day.